Victorian morality was like a giant suffocating blanket over the whole country, and indeed the empire, if you think, by the end of Victoria's reign, she was ruling a quarter of the world's population. The 18th century had been a time of mistresses and courtesans, expensive prostitutes. It was a time of wild behaviour, presided over by the pretty loose children of George III. Uh, seven sons, six daughters, and by 1800 they had between them 56 illegitimate children and one legitimate child. That kind of behaviour was what everyone was following. When Victoria came to the throne in 1837, it was time for a new age, one of morality. A young, pure girl was on the throne. It was a time in which mistresses and courtesans were hidden away. Everything was about the new, moral Victorian behaviour, virtue, industry, the perfect domestic home. And this morality was tough, it was rigid, and it was kept together by the women, particularly the mothers, the older matriarch, just like Lady Brockenhurst. <laughs>